of sleep gone. Not a fan, Congress! Listen, this sucks. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. But as you undoubtedly are thinking about sleep tonight, there are a few things to note to make the Z's come a little easier, hopefully. Yes, it's a rough day, that Monday after daylight savings time for sure, and almost everybody feels some of the effects of it. I know, that's right. So what to do to lessen the consequences of what the United States adopted back in 1918? Daylight saving time. If you want to maximize the time that it takes you to adjust, you want to get on board with that new wake-up time and stick with it. Dr. Dr. Richie also says get some light in your eyes when you wake up, be it the morning sun or a light therapy box. Maybe start the day with a morning exercise routine. May I suggest mine, which is just running my mouth. Get away! Get away! And be easy with that caffeine. Oh, girl, I know. At bedtime tonight, keep that blue light exposure like your cell phone at a minimum and listen to your body. Basically, we're going to be asking our brains and our bodies to go to bed an hour earlier than we usually do. And we can't force it, but we can be paying attention to when our brain is giving us the signal that it's time for bed. And it's important to do because... The switching from standard time to daylight savings time... Um, is the tougher of the two switches through the year. This is the one that people struggle with the most. And it's the one that we think has more associated health consequences. Research suggests there's an increase in heart attacks, strokes, and medical errors, even car crashes. More workplace injuries. On top of that, people are more irritable and have issues focusing at work. Would it be better for us health-wise if we just got rid of daylight saving time? So the position of the American Academy of Sleep Medicine is to get rid of it and to stick with standard time year-round. And that's because the timing of the light, the sunlight that we get exposed to in standard time, best matches our internal circadian clock. 